rather than safe as normal. Welcome to episode 7 of Tico Ventures, where we shall be venturing onto the weather lines in Norfolk, Norfolk, East Anglia. There we go. So, part 1, we shall be venturing out to the stations of Norwich, Rondal Gardens, Rondal, Lingwood, Acle, and Great Yarmouth. Now, we are on our East Midlands Railway 158, I'm doing the review. So, we'll be pulling into Norwich, and then that's where we can start the episode. So without further delay, let's get on with it. This picture is the station of Norwich, managed by Greater Anglia with six platforms. Additional services are provided by East Midlands Railway. There were two other stations serving the city of Norwich, the others being Norwich Victoria and Norwich City. However, the stations and their respected lines were closed by British Rail. Today's station is the northern terminus for the Great Eastern Main Line from London Liverpool Street as well as services operating the Werry Lines, Bitten Lines, services to Peterborough and East Midlands Railway services to and from Liverpool Lime Street via Nottingham, Sheffield and Manchester Piccadilly. The facilities of Norwich include benches, bins, bike storage, car parks, cafes, dark matrix board, help points, self-serving ticket machines, ticket office, toilets, waiting rooms and waiting shelters. The station's head code is NRW. So we're now waiting for our first train onto the Webby Lines, the 1536, which will take us to our next station, Brundle Gardens. Let the chaos begin. Between Norwich and Brundle Gardens was the station of Whitlingham, which lasted between 1874 and 1964. In this picture is the station of Brundle Gardens, managed by Greater Anglia with two platforms. It is one of two stations serving the village of Brundle, the other being, well, Brundle. Facilities of Brundle Gardens include benches, bins, bike storage, dark matrix boards, help points, a waiting room and a waiting shelter. The station's head code is BGA. So we're now waiting for the 1647, which will take us to our next station, Brundle. I was told that the, uh, by a reliable informant, or you, uh, Simon, the, Simon 83, that the horns on the 755s are pretty brutal. He's not wrong. <laughs> he gave me a heart attack. Goose drop mighty. And yes, there is a gate here. Unfortunately, there's a camera looking straight at it, so I won't risk it. <laughs> Sorry, Simon. <laughs> I'm 
learning something about my new phone. It only wants to record when it wants to. It still has a mind of its own. Like with the lighting in the background, for example. <laughs> uh, anyway. anyway, we're on our second station. Well, third station. <laughs> Brundle. Let's get into the analysis, shall we? In this picture is the staggered station of Brundle, managed by Greater Anglia with two platforms. It became the junction station with Great Yarmouth via Acle in 1886. Of the two stations, Brundle is the busier station and the older, as it sees services to Lowestoft and towards Great Yarmouth via Burney Arms. The facilities of Brundle include benches, bins, bike storage, I think, car park, dart matrix board, self-serving ticket machines, and waiting shelters. The station's head code is BDA. Do sort of some funny names I've seen on ships of Born to Boogie. Born to Boogie. Born to Boogie. That's the second time I've nearly had a heart attack. <laughs> that horn is brutal. God. <laughs> if you see, you, you'll probably notice that when I'm in the trains, trains at Brundle video. <laughs> God. Go so mighty, that was loud. It just made me jump out of my skin. But, uh, no. Not long now. So I train to Lingwood. <laughs> that was pretty good. Good of the driver. Great tones, they sound brutal and it's good. The thrash as well. <laughs> In this picture is the station of Lingwood, managed by Greater Anglia with just the one platform. It did have its own freight yard, however this is no longer in use. The facilities of Lingwood include benches, bins, bike storage, dart matrix board, a help point, a self-serving ticket machine and a waiting shelter. The station's head code is LGD. So we're now waiting for the 1751, which will take us to our next station, Acle. In this picture is the station of Acle, managed by Greater Anglia with two platforms. Apologies about the noise, 
Well, that's because there's a busy A road not far from here. Anyway, like with Lingwood, Acle had its own little freight yard until that too was closed by British Rail. Facilities of Acle include an Amazon locker, benches, bins, bike storage, car park, dark matrix boards, help points, self-serving ticket machines, a waiting room and a waiting shelter. The station's head code is ACL. We are now waiting for the 1829, which will take us to our next and final station, Great Yarmouth. This picture is the station of Great Yarmouth, managed by Greater Anglia with three platforms. Originally four platforms, but platform one has been taken out of use. There were two other stations in Great Yarmouth, however these were closed by British Rail. Facilities of Great Yarmouth include benches, bins, bike storage, car parks, dark matrix board, help points, shops, self-serving ticket machines, ticket office, toilets and waiting shelters. The station's head code is GYM. So we're waiting for our last train of the day, the 1917, and we are joined by somebody, a fellow YouTuber that you might know from Grey Yarmouth, Simon the Railway Enthusiast 83. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm very well. Good, very well. good. Very well indeed. Indeed, look at him. Look Simon, I didn't know the look, there's a Mackie's here now. Yeah, there's a Mackie's here now. And then yeah. there's an Asda as there's well. There's an Asda as well, yeah. For Asda Cyber there. Trade. Cyber, not at your workplace and you get to go to Mackie's after. <laughs> but, yeah. So we're going to wait for our train and see what we can train spot in the meantime. So there you have it, a full day of travelling to Norwich and then we started episode one, no episode seven sorry, part one of episode seven of Tico Ventures which was between Norwich, Brundle Gardens, Brundle, Lingwood, Acle and Great Yarmouth. We also managed to have a look at the uh, development of the stations because they did get an upgrade with the signalling level crossings and uh, this, you know, the signalling is now done from Colchester. Um, and then obviously remodelling certain junctions along the way, like with Brundle, Reedham, and all that. Uh, we saw the Mackies. Sadly, we've had no Mackies on because I'm broke. <laughs> We also managed to see uh, meet up with Simon the Railway Enthusiast 83, which was great fun. If you've not heard of Simon 83, 
then I will put his channel in the description below for you to check out because he does some amazing content and he's a good rail enthusiast to be around so it's great to see you Simon I'll see you on Sunday but uh, yeah we're just heading back to uh, Norwich now where I will end the video but uh, if you have enjoyed the video then make sure to give this video a like comment Ooh! I think it was a class 30 anyway make sure to give this a like comment share and subscribe well that's it for me thank you for watching and stay safe everybody and I'll see you in part two Norwich